Oh, hello. How art thou today? y'all what is going on how are you guys doing hopefully you're doing wonderfully so for today's video i was inspired to continue this fun little like transforming myself kind of not really series but like this trend i've been doing lately with my videos so i decided to do another transforming myself video but this time, I've decided to focus on celebrities. And recently, I had a post on my Instagram where I was like doing this, and I was like, Oh, am I Anya Taylor Joy yet? And I was like, It would actually be fun to be Anya Taylor Joy. I mean, like, that is what I aspire to be. Like, I absolutely love her. She is so talented. She's an amazing actress. She's gorgeous. She's just. She's perfect. She's hilarious. She was so great on SNL. But if you're feeling nervous sitting so close to another person, just picture them naked. Wait, just kidding. We've all been inside for a year. Everybody's already picturing everyone naked. I can't. I can't stand it. She's, she's beautiful. Anyway, so I was like, okay, I would love to try to transform myself into Anya Taylor-Joy to some capacity. So I searched high and low through the interwebs on the Instagram, on the Google, and I eventually found a picture that I felt was perfect, which I'm gonna show you guys right here. I believe in, it was for an award show back in 2018, I'm not exactly too sure. But I found this photo because I remembered she used to have dark brown hair. So I saw Katie Heron wearing army pants and flip-flops, so I bought army pants and flip-flops. Since I have dark brown hair, I felt like it'd be best to do a re- uh, to leave the- <laughs> So I was looking through photos with her dark hair, and I found this one from- I think it's Academy Awards, I'm like looking at the background of the photo, but anyway, I'm looking at this picture of her on the red carpet, I guess and I really like the makeup look, it's super bold. She's got dark hair, so I was able to like, kind of do something similar. So, I am taking forever to explain myself, oh my god. So basically, I am going to try to recreate this makeup look that she has, and I'm gonna have like my own little photo shoot, and I'm gonna like change my outfit. I don't have something that's like exactly like what she's wearing, but I'm gonna wear like similar colors and kind of like have my own photo shoot and try to like recreate her like essence, you know, her vibe. Try to channel my inner Anya Taylor Joy beautifulness. And that is what I'm gonna be doing today. So hopefully it turns out. So without further ado, we will get into the makeup look. Now her eyebrows, gorgeous. Mine don't look like that, but I'm gonna try my best. Okay, she's got like a fluffy brow going on. So that's what we gonna do, fluffy. And that's as fluffy as my eyebrows are gonna get because they're pretty sparse, so. Sorry. I feel like my eyebrows are also a good amount darker than hers. So that doesn't help. That's the best it's gonna get. They still kinda look like my eyebrows, but we gonna ignore that. <laughs> ignoring you. I said I'm ignoring you. Stop ignoring me, ignoring you! <laughs> I'm going to put on some foundation. Okay. I know I usually use eye primer, but I am just gonna put foundation on my eyelids because it's such a light color on her and it looks like so much more natural that I don't wanna like ruin it with the primer, so I am just gonna use my foundation. Goodbye, spidery. 
eyelid veins. Even though I have the Cupid's bow lips just like she has, hers is a little bit more prominent and her lips are a little bit different than mine. So I am gonna put a little bit of foundation on my lips just to like, that way I can recreate a new shape. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's my base, honey. Yes, yes. Now, this eye makeup, I'm zooming so in. It looks like she just got like a nice shimmer on her lid, um, a brown liner, and then some gold under the eye. So, so I'm gonna start with the base of the eye. I'm going to start with a neutral color in my Mellow Cosmetics palette. And I am going to just start very neutral, can't even know, notice it's their color. Let's see, I want a warmer tone. So we're just gonna putting a warmer tone, the outer corner of my eye and blending it up into the crease. For this warmer tone, I'm using um, The Warrior by Juvia's, just so you know. You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. I am going to put a lighter shade right here. Because her eye shape is a little different than mine, so I'm just kind of trying to create that same depth right here. Peelings, nothing more than peelings. Now for the lid. I'm still gonna use a fluffy brush because like the shimmer on her lid doesn't look super concentrated, so I want to be able to like spread it as evenly as possible. Still the Mellow Cosmetics um, palette. And I'm going to put smoked topaz all right here. Okay, and then she has more going up. Put more shimmer on my eyes. So now for this like liner part. Sort of looks like a, a brown, but it's like a shimmerier brown. I'm gonna use my Juvia's palette. And I have this nice brown that might work well. And the liner kind of goes here. Straight up. Just like that, I think. That looks right to me. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Hers looks darker, so I'm gonna try a different one. <laughs> Cause I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Can't believe I straight up woke up this morning and I was like, I can look like Anya Taylor Joy. A horrifying thought. And she does have a darker color at the base that looks more matte. So that's what I'm going to do. I am going to use a black liner to just sort of line my top lid. Hope it works. I'm going to do the gold part. This is where I'm gonna use the Juvia's palette again because it just has a better gold in it than the other one. So it's in the corner of her eye. Up and under. Now for the hard part. She has huge eyes. I got little eyes. So I gotta Try to make them look bigger. That was my wrist. Did you? So I am going to try to fake having large eyes. 
Best way to do that, I'm going to use a brown color and just go here. Obviously she doesn't have like a white liner like in her waterline, but I'm gonna do it just to try to make my eyes look a little bigger. JK, I don't have my white liner on me. So, I am going to use my primer. Because <laughs> 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 that's the same thing. <laughs> I'm gonna just put a little on a flat brush and then I'm just going to Now I know I'm getting it on my eyelashes, but I'm gonna clean that up in a second so it's fine. I'm actually gonna use my eyebrow brush and create a very sharp line with it in hopes that it helps. I'm just smoking out this bottom part to really emphasize I have bigger eyes even though I don't <laughs> I'm going to put a white shimmer right above that line to really try to make my eyes look bigger so now for mascara. Mascara. And it doesn't look like she's wearing fake lashes, so I'm not doing that. I'm just doing mascara. Okay. Leave me alone. She's just so pretty. I tried. Anyways, we're gonna move on from that. <laughs> <laughs> Now for the fun part. No, I don't have my contour palette on me. So I'm gonna use my Juvia's, my Juvia's palette. So bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. So I'm going to try to achieve her beautiful cheekbone beautifulness, which is gonna be hard, but I'm gonna try. Hers is really like, I'm gonna use my big fluffy. I'm really just try to blend that out so it's not so dark. Okay, and she has a lot of blush, thank the Lord, to help me with this contour look thing. It's really like here. Is that a hair? Is that a hair? I like that. I like it. Okay, doesn't look like she has highlight on, but I'm gonna put some on to help me with the bone structure that I don't have. I have bone structure, just doesn't look like hers. That's what I'm saying. So now, the lips. Hmm. I've been licking my foundation off. Disgusting. Disgusting! Oh well. Okay, so, hers are really like... Okay. Followed the natural line of mine, but went just a little higher. And now, I'm going to do my, um hot pink, the closest thing I have to hot pink for a lip color, and we'll see how this turns out. So what do you guys think of the final look? I will be doing a little mini photo shoot and I'll post the photos so you can like 
see the actual effect that this has apart from just like seeing me talk on camera with it but not bad i do really like this look i think it's really beautiful but anyways tell me what you think i am gonna do other videos like this um if i find a photo shoot of her with like really crazy makeup i'm definitely gonna do it i thought about recreating her snl photo shoot but it is very 60s i don't really have clothing items that work for it and the makeup was a little bit more minimal and really easy to do this was easy to do but you know it's really just about like recreating it well like recreating her essence so we'll see how that goes with the pictures. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if there are any other celebrities you'd love to see me try to transform into. I do have an idea for my next one, but I'm I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you. You have to come back and find out. Okay. But anyways, thank you for watching my video. Thank you for supporting me. I love you all. Have a blessed blessed day and week. And until next time, hasta la pasta. Bye.